this part, we are going to draw the bushing from the wheel assembly assignment. First, we're going to begin with the new. Simply go down to default and pick a standard IPT. Go OK. We'll initialize the program and open up our drawing space. So we default to a sketch, and we're going to begin by simply drawing in the profile of the part. The part we're going to use this time is going to be a line. We're going to come over here and we're going to simply start sketching in the rough shape of the bushing profile. Now, we can see the constraints being applied automatically, uh, parallel for our GB and T, but we aren't going to use that right now. We're simply going to draw in the rough outline of the shape, and we're going to create a center line from the origin, proceeding straight to the right. At that point, I will be done, move this to the middle, and start to apply some sizing constraints. In this case, I know that from here to here needs to be the full diameter of the piece. Full diameter of the piece is 1.375. I know the inside diameter from here to the center is 0.75. I know that the wall is 1 inch from here. I also know that the shoulder here is approximately 0.25 and the whole length of the bushing is 0.75. At this point I've generated the profile of the bushing. Now the next thing I have to do is finish the sketch by simply clicking on finish sketch. Once this is done I am into the feature menu. The feature menu allows me to extrude or revolve, do loss feet, ribs, etc. Today we're simply going to use the revolve command. We're going to revolve and it automatically sets to the profile around the axis of the center line and it's a full. All we have to do at this point is check, check OK and we've now created the bushing. So we can see we've got a file. Save as. And I'm going to put this on my desktop for right now. I'm going to call it bushing. 